the tone of the movie is, it's, it's definitely got some like heartbreaking moments to it, but, um, but it's a, it's a feel good movie. Definitely a lot of heart, a ton of comedy. One of the great things about the script is it's very smart. And so while we do have like some big broad comedy moments like from Keegan-Michael Key and John Leguizamo, like the dialogue itself I think is really smart and really funny. And that's why I really love the script because I could see its range and I could see that it's like gonna hit so many demographics because you've got like people who are smart and gonna understand like the funny stuff, like the sort of smart funny jokes that are underneath it all. And then the people like the younger kids who are just gonna love like, people who are tripping and falling and big dogs running and cute girls <laughs> and like cute little four-year-olds like um, being in charge of a great big giant dog or a great big giant man like John Cena. And then, you know, there's also the romantic comedy element of like the two people who meet and fall in love. And then you've got like the dude bros who are gonna love like how funny the guys are when they're together. I never thought I'd say this, but there's really something for everyone in this movie. John is amazing. Uh, right from the minute I met him, I really liked him. I could tell he was a really kind soul, and that was not what I expected from a wrestler. <laughs> well, yes, he's definitely, like, obviously he's very muscly, but, um, but just the sort of mentality it takes to be, like, at the top of his game as a wrestler, like, I, uh, I was not, I was not picturing someone who, like, also, like, to talk to me about antique furniture and like fine woodworking and learning to play the piano just because he wanted to and learning Mandarin and many layers to John Cena. Yeah, he is like a layer cake, like a tiramisu, like on top of another tiramisu. Jake, our ultimate smoke jumper. He is everything you imagine. He's muscly, he's tough, he is like job first, everything second. All he cares about is like saving lives and putting out the fire and he is super committed to his career, to his um, depot, to keeping it clean, to carry on the legacy of his father, one of the greatest smoke jumpers of all time, and to make sure that he um, can get this like ultimate promotion. Jake is by the book, he is super square, he does not like to veer, he does not like to break the rules, he does not like one speck of dirt or dust anywhere near him. We have Mark, played by Keegan-Michael Key. He really, worships Jake, his goal in life is to make Jake's life as perfect as possible. And that means in the depot and during smoke jumps and um, life saving. And he is just there to serve Jake. Then we have Rodrigo played by John Languizamo. He, uh, he kind of got saved by Jake. He was um, locked up, he was incarcerated. And when he got out, he was, um, he was saved by Jake. Jake gave him an opportunity to change his life. And and he became a smoke jumper. He moved into the depot. He uh, is the depot chef, which is really troubling for everyone because he learned how to cook while he was incarcerated. It doesn't seem like they had a lot of access to a lot of ingredients. So um, he's a very creative chef, we'll say. And uh, he is so funny. He's so loving. Rodrigo's so open and yet still tough, but really like kind of adds a lot of levity, I think, to the firehouse. He also um, prides himself on knowing really great quotes that are never correctly quoted. We have Axe, who is played by Tyler Maine, um, and he is uh, a real enigma. <laughs> <laughs> and I say that because the character of Axe never speaks. He never speaks until um, only one person in the world can break through that tough exterior, and that is our little um, Zoe in the movie. Uh, she's a four-year-old, she's adorable, and she wins the heart of Axe. Well, she wins the heart of everyone, but specifically Axe, and Axe is uh, the first time we ever see him emote or make noises out of his mouth, besides a grunt, is for little Zoe. Andy Fickman is like a walking, uh, like, 
He walks around like with so much heart, but so much comedy. He cares so much about the emotional moments, but he's so smart and funny and quick. And I just don't feel like it's, I just can't remember a time when I've worked with a director that's been so sharp all the time, never not, never making me feel like he doesn't have time for me, even if I have a dumb, silly question. But I will just say that he is so funny. He has the funniest ideas. He is so even-tempered. Um, he's always got tons of energy, but it comes from like a really loving place. And uh, yeah, he does have this quality of like making you feel super safe and like everything's gonna be okay and every we're getting everything we need and he's so excited and he's so happy and he wears a different baseball hat to work every single day. I think he flew to Vancouver with like 250 baseball hats. All these people who don't have any real reason to be together find each other and live happily ever after. And I think that the audiences will take away like how you have to just step outside your comfort zone in order to maybe like find love and acceptance and happiness.